This is a review of the Nano QX carbon fiber frame by Raycon, as well as information on how to get seven or eight minute flights with an upgraded battery using this frame. Okay, so first the frame, let's take a look. We've got alum red aluminum uh, arms. You, they come in various colors. I have the red, they make blue, and they make gray, they make black. We've got two carbon fiber plates, one on top, one on the bottom. This is actually some of the thinnest carbon fiber I've ever seen. But it's it's so thin you can actually flick it with your flick it a little bit on the top one with your finger. Despite that, it's actually quite durable. I've not cracked it, just even though I've had crashes, falls, etc. So Raycon did a great job putting this together. The build is quite simple. Uh, all the directions are laid out for you. This is my wiring job. I think this is really the best way of putting it together. It keeps all the wires nicely tucked. But again, not too hard to figure out. It's really, really not much to doing the build. Um, if I had to give a tip, is to be really careful with the screws because these screws are tiny. There's definitely some of the tiniest screws I've had to work with. Um, and they're easy to lose. So be careful with the screws. Maybe order the hardware set. Because if you lose one, it's, you're not going to have a good time. Okay. Now for the 7 and 8 minute flight times. What I did was, this is a uh, 1S high current adapter. Which plugs into a battery like this. This is the Nanotech 300 milliamp hour 1S 35C uh, LiPo battery. And for that, I just Velcro. This is attached with some Velcro. I just Velcroed this onto the top. And this just plugs right in, as you can see, to the, to the, uh, the, the Pico connector. And I've been able to achieve uh, up to 8 minute flight times with this. It does run a little slower, so to speak, with the uh, with the with the battery on it, because the battery is seven point six grams according to Hobby King. Uh, I haven't weighed it myself. I did an experiment and put two pennies on top of the battery just to see how far I could push it, and uh, and I could still I could even carry those two pennies, and that's four extra grams. Around the five minute mark though, the copter was struggling to maintain its uh, altitude. So it was, it was behaving a lot more sluggish. But overall, this is definitely, definitely an improvement. It, def it can definitely handle seven, it can definitely handle seven grams without an issue. Uh, I should note that I am not using the stock motors. I'm using the micro motor, uh, micro motor warehouse motors. So that may be a factor in having just a little more lift to deal with a battery like this. But, um, yeah, if you get this frame and you upgrade the motors you and you get this battery, you should be able to achieve seven minute flights. For easy. I like to show off at seven minutes because that seems to, because I don't like to fly down to low voltage, but that seems to be the best, seems to be the best battery. For this right now, you just gotta get the connector. And look, there's no, there's not gonna be any soldering required. It just plugs in, boom, you're done. All right, let's see how it flies.
In case anyone was wondering, yes, the nan is okay, even though I just crashed it twice. And that's about it. So if you've got any questions or want some more information, you can leave me a message in the comments below. Thanks for watching.